Hey guys, Rob from Tactical Garage here. I'm going to show you how I enabled the Flex Fuel kit that I installed on my 2016 Camaro SS to show you what uh, what you have to change in HP tuners in order to get that enabled. So what I have right now is I have a stock Camaro tune. This is the stock tune that came from my out of my 2016 Camaro, and then there is a flex field tune one here too, and then we have a comparison. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna go into the engine section here, highlighted there, click on that. Engine, fuel, and then over on your right, you're gonna have flex fuel, and then go come over to the uh, left here. And you can see right now that the top one right there is disabled, and on the flex fuel tune one, it's enabled. And the bottom one so you need to use the drop down here change this one to enabled and change the sensor from virtual to to sensor and which was consistent with the uh, one that has the flex fuel in it next thing you're going to do is to go to general tab here so again we're still under fuel you're going to go under general and then you're going to go under the uh, stoichiometric bring this up right here you so you can see on the stock car it's showing that stoichiometric is 14.10 all the way across the board and this is stoichiometric for unleaded gasoline with 10% ethanol, which is the standard pump gas nowadays. So they just, the stock tune that comes with it assumes that you're just gonna run the same pump gas all the time. And so there's no variance here at all. Uh, you're gonna wanna change this table right here. And so here's here's what it looks like if you update it for, for flex fuel. The uh, top first one here was 0% ethanol. So this is unleaded gasoline, 0% ethanol is 14.67 and then all the way over to the right 100% ethanol has stoichiometric of 8.97 and then each of the ones above here is a blend so all this is just a mathematical formula of what percentage gas was zero ethanol versus the percentage of 100% uh, ethanol in here so these need to be updated to match these, you can do the calculation yourself also, if you know the first and last one here. Next thing you're going to want to look at is, I'll show you, is in the Spark tab here. So if you go to Spark right here. So pre-populated in the, in the tune, there's a Flex Fuel Spark Advance here or Retard. So if you bring that up, this is actually the stock the stock one right here and you can see that in the areas here which tend to be your areas when you're starting the car right here they're they're pulling timing from it um, areas down in here which tend to be just kind of your your normal driving again there there's some variance there but they're either pulling or adding timing and then down below here once you get to this section here, like right in here, you can see this is this is more wide open throttle area down in here of the spark tables. And you can see this is where you're able to add additional timing because the octane level of, of uh, ethanol is higher than standard pump gas. So you're able to add time in and then also it's cooler as well, which will let you do it. So so this is already populated in your in in your stock tune from from Chevy so you don't really have to make any changes there certainly you could add some timing if that's something you wanted or take away timing but that's at your own risk there uh, the other thing I'll point out is this right here is pre-populated too this is the flex fuel multiplier so so what this does is it looks to see what percentage of ethanol content you have and then it would adjust it so here on this table right here you can see that at currently at 50 percent ethanol it's it multiplying it by the spark advance by 0.5 so for example if you had 50 percent ethanol in your car and you were at right here which is 5200 rpms 
at this spark mass right here, it would take that 0.5 and multiply it by, by the number that was in here. So what it would do is it would advance the timing by two and a half degrees in, in this example. But you don't really have to do much here, but that's something if you wanted to ever make any changes, you could, that's where you'd change it there. The last piece of it right now is, is you have this alcohol adjuster here. And this is when you're under power enrichment mode or cat over temperature mode, it adjusts the, the items in here. And this, when it comes stock, this tends to, you can see it pulls a lot of timing out of stuff right here when, it, when it's in those modes. Personally, when I got my tune from Whipple, Whipple had zeroed out this completely. So, so for mine right now, I have this zeroed out and I'm doing all of my adjustments for that right here in the flex fuel um, mode right here. So I'm not really allowing this other table alcohol table to do anything. This is what it looks like on your stock tune. Uh, this is an example of, of someone that, uh, and again, I've never ran this other tune before. This is just a tune that was uh, posted in the open domain for people to grab. So in this particular one right here, you can see that they've adjusted all these right here and they've added timing through here instead of uh, taking it away. My approach has been just to zero out this table, but you have a couple different options there. So that's the uh, spark stuff there. And then the other thing to consider too is, is on startup. Sometimes you need some additional timing there and you can see the stock one doesn't have any timing. And this particular one has some ad advance here in the in the uh, lower temperature. So if it's really cold outside, it's adding an additional spark in order for the car to start. Cars tend to start harder with higher ethanol content in cold weather. So, so that's what this is doing right here. The stock version has nothing here. I've added, I've added some, uh, some additional timing here. There's an example, uh, one that you could maybe start with and adjust it from there. So the last thing you'd want to look at is the engine diagnostic stuff. So if you go up here along the top and sort of still close the engine out, go to engine diagnostics and come down here. The codes are along the side here. So if we go down to P, P0178, oops, L2. Okay, so you have two, two flex fuel sensor, low circuit and a high circuit one here, P0178. And you can see on the stock tune, there's no check in these box. There's no air codes on either one of these. And so you're gonna to wanna to check these boxes right here, like so, and then from the drop down, go mil on second. So it would turn on an air light if it's on the second time it's done there. So you, if you want, if you want to run any kind of uh, diagnostics related to flex fuel, you'd want to turn those on there. And then the last place you could you'd go to is if you go to fuel system here. So again, across the top, we're at fuel system. Click fuel system, and then under diagnostics, and it's uh, the uh, sensor diagnostics right here. It's currently on disabled on the stock tune, and you'd want to change that to enabled. So that's that's kind of just the basics on what you need to do to enable your flex fuel kit. And then you would, uh, of course, save your tune and you would upload that uh, into the vehicle. I have another video out there where I, I showed how to set up HP tuners and how to download a video and upload, or download a tune and out of the car and, and also upload a update or tune. But you'd need to save that and from there you'd need to upload it into the vehicle. And then at that point, you should be able to start to uh, data log your flex fuel uh, content, ethanol content, and make any adjustments there that you wanted to from there.
All right, guys, there you go. Flex fuel enabled. Hope the video was helpful. As always, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Thanks.